This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app to start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. This video is sponsored by Good Avail. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Are my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for job. watching. I if so, it. then create and log okay. into the Avail app we got start looking for a relatively work. Interesting Want to know more? Today. Then exactly download the I'm Avail doing. app today. And we've got to go to a couple of interesting places. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully, you're okay. We got a relatively interesting one planned for today. I know exactly what I'm doing, and we've got to go to a couple of interesting places. Um, first one up on the list is Northwest 5 postcode, Northwest London. We are in London right now, and in a moment, we need to take a left hand turn, which I do believe we can't take because we are literally too big to take the left turn. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I do have a plan B. We'll see once we get there um, as to whether or not we have to take this plan B, which by the way is in literally just half a mile up the road. We are, we are almost there. Um, but yeah, we've got to deliver to a garden center. It's called Bulmer's Garden Center. Um, been there before, been there a few times actually. Um, they don't take deliveries before 9 a.m. So that's the time it is right now. You're gonna cross right in front of me, aren't you? Yeah. So, um, well, it's half past eight right now, and um, we're only about, well, probably only like a mile away. So we've got a little bit of spare time, which is good, because we are going to need it. Because, I, like I said, I need to take this plan B. I'm pretty sure I need to take a plan B. Rather than turning left, I'm going to have to turn right, spin round, and then, I'm, then go back out, and then I'm then straight on then from that, one, from that way onwards. And when I turn right, it is kind of like an industrial estate area, not a residential area. And talking of residential area, where we are delivering to, to this garden center, very much so is a residential area. <laughs> um, first time I ever went down there, I thought, oh my God, this can't be down here. But it was, it was. The best, the, just Google it, Bulmer Garden Center, London. It's like on a corner of a street over a train track. That is where we're going. Uh, we've got 12 pallets for them, not too many. And then we've got five pallets for, um, another London postcode, E17, which I've never been to that one before. And there's a low bridge um, outside. What are you doing? You are literally coming on the wrong side of the road because I'm going straight. I guess you're turning right. This is one lane. What are you doing? I don't know where they're going. They might... Can you turn right here? I'm going straight on, Mush. <laughs> What's going on there? This is London for you. You've got to be careful of everyone. Careful of the cyclists on the left-hand side and careful of motorists creating their own lanes. Why would you get right in front? Oh yeah, that car decided he wanted to overtake. You've got to be careful of the cyclists, man. It won't take much to kill one of them. So this particular turn that we are approaching upon, um, I have approached from the opposite direction so that it was a right-hand turn. Um, and even then it was tight, very tight to take the right-hand turn. So I, I do believe it's gonna to be too tight to take the left as well. Can we get past them now? Because they're going very slow. Um, so yeah, that's why I do, I, I think the left turn is going to be too tight because the right turn is too tight. Or you can just about make it on the right turn and you're approaching from the other side of the road. So uh, yeah, I do believe we won't be able to make the left and we will be forced to turn right and then try and turn round. Let's give it a go. Okay, if these lights stay green, we shall go left. Okay, and then it's here. So ideally we want to turn left at these traffic lights. We're going to start indicating left, just to show our intention. Oh, we're not going to make it. I don't think we are. No, we're not going to make that. The only way we would make it is if we were on this side of the road. So we're going to, we're going to have to go right and then spin round, like I thought. The trailer would just take out the lamppost getting down there. It is a weight limited road, but it's the only way we can go in. It's uh, any other way is too tight. 
Yeah, it does say except for loading, which is exactly what we are going to be doing. So what we need to do is turn around, and uh, I'm hoping we can turn around in this UPS yard here. If I put my hazards on, beacons on. I'm hoping I can just reverse back. I planned this last night at home when I knew what I was doing. We just reverse back. There's a car coming out, but they're very gonna, very quickly gonna realise I need the space. Actually, that I do. I don't need any more. That I do. Right now we've turned around and we can get in by going straight over. That's the game now. Du -du -du -du. Waiting for a green light. I've, I have gone into this garden centre from, um, from various directions. Um, and I think this is the easiest way. You can come in from the, from the south. That takes longer to get here because we've got to go around a longer way to come in just to make the right turn. I think coming in from the north, turn right here, just turn around quickly in this industrial estate. And I know this industrial estate's here because if you go further down that road, you've got SIG roofing supplies, which I've delivered to. So that's why I know that's there. If I couldn't turn around at that UPS yard, there's another place I could turn around a little bit further down. If I couldn't turn around there, then the final place would have been SIG roofing where I have delivered and where I know I can turn around. So it was an educated guess that it was going to be okay. It was green for me, yeah, it was. So we are going to go down here. Yes, it is a weight limit. Uh, but we are literally delivering to the garden centre just there. Literally just over there on the right hand side. But we've got to go a certain way in because the other roads are too narrow. On the way out, it's fine. We can go out, we can get out the way out. It's, it's a lot easier getting out than it is to getting in. <laughs> but uh, yeah, a little bit of an interesting one first thing this morning. But... This motorbike let me through. Like I said, it's literally down a residential street. Clear, clear, clear. I can't go anywhere because Waitrose has decided to come on down. Are you going on the curb? Lovely, and then we want to take a right turn here. Are you actually joking me? Come on. You can't stop there, mate. Literally where I need to be. I'm indicating all the way. This is Lip Street. This is the one we want. Take a right. A very tight right. Nice. And then, yeah, we just go down here and uh, it's on the right hand side. Doesn't look like there's an awful lot of space. Yeah, we should be right. Should be all right. I'm going to start putting my beacons on, indicate right. We're going to park right behind that silver car on the right hand side. This is the garden centre we're delivering to. I'm just going to get a little bit tighter over to the right hand side just to leave. Well, there's plenty of room on the left anyway. Go forward again. Leave room for the forklift to get out of this gate. That's cool, excellent. So we're gonna get the straps off now. They literally offload us from the road and then uh, on, well, on the left side, then we reverse back and they do the right side in the junction. So, and there's like lots of people wearing high vis making sure everything's all okay. So yeah, engine off. We're here early. We're not supposed to be here until nine, so. It's quarter to nine now. We get a 15 minute break in actually while we're waiting and then, uh, and then we'll go out and do the straps.
This video is sponsored by Intruck. Don't skip this part. If you are a truck driver or just someone who wants nice, secure parking, this is genuinely an app that you are going to want to download. I've had Intruck installed on my phone for years. I'm just one of 300,000 users that use the app across the UK and Europe. It's been completely renovated. It's a brand new app, uh, which has been redesigned from the ground up and it's so, so easy to use. You create an account, uh, you put in your details and you can find locations to park based on either certain parameters that you set yourself, like say for example, you want showers or say for example, you want Wi-Fi, etc. You've put those parameters in and it will find the services or truck stops which suit your needs. You can view it uh, in list mode, like via A to Z or even nearby. Um, or you can perhaps do it how I prefer to do it, whereby you look at the map as a whole. You can see where you're gonna go, you can zoom into that location, and you can select a potential truck stop or service that you want to stop at. Now, something I'm often asked by my friends who are also truck drivers uh, is something along the lines of, oh, is this one snap? Yes, you can find out very easily just by looking on the map. If it's red, it's a snap sign. On my homepage, on my phone, I have uh, a folder named Work Apps, and in it, Intruck is at the top of that list. It's an app that I use quite regularly myself, genuinely have been before even being asked to make these videos advertising it. It's completely free to download, completely free to use. Like I said, the app has been downloaded by over 300,000 users in the UK and the Europe. There are over 11,000 different locations uh, of parking and washing available. That's 11,000 places, there's loads. If you need to find a place, Intruck is the place to go. So big thanks for Intruck for sponsoring this video. Link is in the description down below. Happy days. Here we go then. Looks like looks like quite a nice garden centre to be honest. And Bournemouth Garden Centre. So yeah, we're just parked on the road. And uh, they'll tip the other side first. So that's what we got coming off. Uh, just the back lot. We've got three rows left to stay on. Not too bad. It's um it's a little bit after nine o'clock now. I've just been told the forklift driver will be here in about five minutes, so. Um, hopefully we won't have to wait too much longer. Um, yeah, gets done when it gets done, doesn't it? Yeah. All done, yeah? Lovely. Cheers, mate. I'll go. Cheers, mate. Right. That was a bit of a miscommunication there. The banksman said I could go. The lift didn't know I was going. So we want to go back up here, we've got to take this left turn. Now it was quite tight this left turn, when it was a right turn. and we, So we're definitely going to have to go on the other side of the road to make it. But as long as we can get out of this left turn, I've got my beacons on for now just to uh, help show that I am a large vehicle. We're going to take a left here. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tight. on the path because I can't get my trailer around. That's been parked quite close to the edge. That green thing was parked quite close to the junction so the trailer sort of cut into it. This van is moved that away from me. Right we'll take it right here and then we should be should be golden then from there. This is this is the only tight bit. <laughs> Okay, we're just around the corner now from the second delivery. Ooh, his nose was pointing out. Ooh, that van has just cut that car up as well. Uh, we want to get into the right-hand side lane because we want to turn right. Do both of these lanes go right? I think one goes left, one goes right. We are going right. We are going right. This road coming in wasn't too bad. And uh, yeah, we just got to go up here now and it should be on the left. I have phoned him up and I have said I'm two miles away. He said, yeah, all right, no worries. I said, is it all right just to drive straight in? He said, yeah, drive straight in. But he said, it is a race between you and another lorry driver. 
He goes, we're expecting someone else. Thing is, I did phone him up yesterday. So I'm not sure whether the second driver they are expecting is actually also me. It could be. I don't know. It pinches a little bit here on the road. We've got to use the other side of the road to get around this bend. We'll let that car go first and just double check these pedestrians aren't crossing. Lovely. Right, somewhere down here, Lancaster Garden Centre or something it's called. Just before the low bridge, which is 4.1 metres. Now I run at 4.2, so it's touching there as to whether or not I would actually make it. Is it this one here? No, it's the one after. I thought I'd just turn left there then. No, it's just left here. Okay, yeah, I see it. Beacon's on just to let vehicles know opposite direction I'm turning left. Hopefully these vans are turning left. That black one's letting me in. Cheers, mate. I don't know where they want me. Because we're delivering just here. Ah, blokes watching me forward. Can't see him now, is he still watching me forward? Is that all right, mate? Yeah, wicked. All right, mate, no worries. Right, let's go get these straps off. Right, we are in, we are being tipped. Just gonna check the reverse out. Oh, there's a van there, typical. So on the way out, we're gonna have to reverse out of here. Should be right. Reverse out, there's the low bridge. And then we'll uh, we'll drive back the way we come on in. As you can see, we're being tipped from, uh, from both sides. I call it DT. Double tipped. <laughs> right, that's how it should be. We've been stationary for seven minutes. We've got one more pallet to come off. And then reverse back onto the road. Um, yeah, so we're going to, it's near Braintree. It's an hour away from here. Sort of in between, in between ba uh, Braintree and Colchester. Lovely, cheers mate. And we, uh, we're good to go. He's going to watch me out, which is good. Let's get going before uh, this van decides he wants to go out. I have just given the forklift, or one of the forklifts, a thumbs up, but I don't think he saw. Oh, I've got a horrible angle here. need to get a better angle. Just making my life more difficult at that angle. Just waiting for a thumbs up. Oh, not yet. Looked like he was about to give me a thumbs up then. We can go a little bit further back. <laughs> just stop the traffic. Come on, just, I think they're waiting for a gap in the road. Oh no, they're waiting for that van. Remember I said that van was there. They're waiting for that van to move by the looks of it. Right, now we've got a thumbs up. Bam, bam, bam. London deliveries for you. Just missed the van on the left. We're good on the right. 
<laughs> it scared him. It scared the banksman. <laughs> I tried. I tried to do like a, a toot toot. Sometimes it doesn't work with a horn. It only registers one for some reason. Um, <laughs> it scared the shit out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It really scared him. Then he went, "Ooh." Anyway, we're out. That was a very quick tip. We we're there for like ten minutes tops. Let me get around this. Yeah, we were there for ten minutes tops, so that was good. Uh, so our ETA now to our collection. We've got to go to a farm now. Um, and then we've got to deliver it to another farm. Uh, we've got to pick up some scaffolding boards. I think they're being uh, bought off of someone and then reused, remade into like seating or something. Like he makes, st he makes sculptures out of the, out of the timber. So um, these are scaffolding boards. It's like reused basically. So it's quite a good, quite a good thing to do. Um, we've got to pick up from one place that I've never been to before, um, a farm. And uh, we've got to deliver to a place that I have been to before, but not for ages. And it's also another farm in, in the middle of nowhere. So, yes, that's going to be uh, what's next on this video. Once we've done that, we've then got to try and get over to Whiz Beach and get loaded. But, I mean, we'll see. But it's, I mean, we're not going to be in the collection until 12 o'clock. <laughs> Could be there for an hour loading, for all I know. I don't know. I guess it's an hour to the next place, so that's two o'clock, then it's three o'clock, and then it's going to be very close to four o'clock. I don't know what the cutoff is, but I would imagine it's around about four o'clock. I've been there before at 9, 10 a.m. and still haven't left until three or four hours later. So I personally can't see myself getting loaded tonight, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you when we get uh, to our collection point. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Right, we are a couple of miles away from uh from the farm, we need to take a left here. Take a left. Lovely jubbly, mind is mirror, lovely jubbly. Let's clear, go, go, go. So we've got to drive down this road for uh, 1.7 miles and we've got to take a left onto a hall drive. And then I think it, I think it starts to get narrow then. <laughs> Um, we've got to do maybe a couple of miles on uh, single track road. I can't remember. I did look last night, but I um, can't remember now if that is the case. <laughs> but we we're about to find out. Okay, 500 yards. We need to turn left. Just uh, a couple more corners to make. Sorry, a couple more bends, I should say. A couple more bends, and then we take a left. After this van, oh, we've got traffic lights. We're gonna have to stop. Oh no, 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 no! This might be difficult. We'll have to see, but I might need to use the other side of the road to make the left turn. But <laughs> there's a traffic light here, so it might be difficult to make the left turn. If we're lucky, because all of this traffic's now coming from the other way. Hopefully, there'll be no traffic there. Yeah, there's something. There's, there's something coming now. See a Land Rover. A red Land Rover's parked up. I think we're about to get a green light. Yeah. There's a red Land Rover here, but it's... Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. I think even if it was queuing up all the way, we'd be able to make this turn in just this lane, so we're good. Just that, uh, obviously, it's a road I've not taken before, so I didn't know uh, whether I needed the other side of the road. But we're good, right, dead end road down here. But this is the way we go. He said, I spoke to him early, he said, got to go past the golf club car park and then I should see the scaffolding boards. Um, that's all I've been told. That is a hidden bump. Didn't see that very well.
Yeah, it's not quite a single track as I thought it was going to be. It's a nice Audi. So yeah, come down here. Oh, that's a nice house. That was a nice house. Drive down here, and I think down here there should be a gate. I think there's a gate, and it should say Home Farm on it. Let's turn my beacons on, actually, while I'm coming down here. Right, yeah, okay, here's the gates. Squeeze through here, and it says private access to golf club, home farm, and bounces farm. Well, we want home farm. <laughs> That's the truck saying, weight limited road. Oh! <laughs> they are actually playing golf over there. So, go past the golf club car park, which will be this bit over on the left. I see a, um, a red forklift just reverse back as well, so I suspect that's for me. Before I had to guess, I've told them I'll be about 22. It's quarter two now, so they should be expecting me. But yeah, where did that red forklift go? It's disappeared quick. Da -da -da -da. That's where it went, it went in there. Right, situation report. These are the scaffolding boards that are going on. We go in, we're going four high. So I said, put two on. I'll strap up, so I put two straps on it. They're gonna put another two high, and then I put more straps over the top. So there'll be eight straps in total. Uh, and the single row and top row will both be strapped. Uh, right, he's just realized I ain't got enough room. He wanted to put four rows on. And because, that was my stomach then. <laughs> because they're different lengths, he can't get them quite as tight as he'd really want to. So we can only get three lengths on. Even if I move the net, which I said I'm willing to do, it's going to be quite a bit of an overhang. So I think now, even though I've already strapped the front row up, I think he's going to put another one on top. So I need to put another two straps on top. So there's going to be six straps per row, event effectively. Uh, effectively. So that's going to be 18 straps we're going to use on this. Huh. I'm jumping up and down the trail. I'm moving timber and fur straps. It's, uh, I need a haircut, man. My hair's getting too long. You go back a little bit. That's it. Right, change the plan. He, I think he miscalculated. We've only got to put four, sorry, five packs on one row. So we're going to do it on the middle. It means we are quite high. And I am going to have to put quite a few more straps over. I mean, ideally, I would have liked to have strapped up. Mm, it is what it is. We're just going to put a few extra straps on that middle one just to be safe. Because it's a bit of a dodgy one, that one. The more I look at it, the more I think that looks dodgy. <laughs> um, I'm going to put four straps over the top. So uh, other than these two, which are already here, one, two, three, four, all going over. Um, Yes, then we should be okay. Height-wise, I don't think we're very tall. I think we are slightly taller than the cab. So I am gonna have to get my measure stick out and just double check. Uh, but we're not gonna be that tall. Right, we well, loaded. Um, so like I said, it was just uh, just the middle pack we put the extra one on. I just measured it, it's 4.2. So, deceiving because we're quite close to the cab but it's basically in line with the cab according to my height stick anyway so two over two over two over and i put four over on the top and then two over and two so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen straps fourteen straps for this load of scaffolding so we're going to jump in the truck now and we're going to crack on Right, this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting because we've got to go down some tight roads now. Got to go to a village called Castle Acre. It's over there on the left-hand side and most vehicles would go in the road behind me, but there's a big sign, no HTVs. Do not go through this way. And then there's another one that says, do not use, I think it said Bailey Bridge, I think. It says Castle Acre, avoiding weight limits, height limits. Then there was another sign there saying unsuitable HTVs. I want to make a left. I'm pretty sure this is the left that I take. 
onto Newton Road. I do remember it being a little bit snug and take this left where the white car is. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about trucks not being allowed to go down here. Castle Acre, Castle and Priory. There's no signs to say trucks can't go, whereas every other turning, there was something to say a truck couldn't go down there. Height, weight, width, whatever. There was something. This way, there's nothing. And it's still going to get tight. Still going to get a little bit snug, I think. We literally got to go through the village. It is a tiny, tiny village. These wires are quite low. Yeah, no, we're under it. It's fine. Got a car behind me. Now, we're going to get to a, a point in the road where the road will naturally go off to the left. And I think I've got to go off to the right, which looks tight. But I believe it's tighter on the left, the further up you get. Just saying thanks to these cars. They both stopped. I don't think that first one wanted to stop. <laughs> but it stopped. It had stopped. So I believe we want to take a right onto North Street. Okay, now we're in Castle Lake. I I've been here once before and I've definitely come this way. I just can't remember if I took a right or if I went straight on. I Surely it's right through traffic. I'm pretty sure it's right. I got it. Good. A good sign is the tyre marks on the ground. You can see it's a bit, it's a bit bland. You need to you need to come out late because I can't go while you're there. Didn't get a thank you for waiting. I don't I don't imagine they appreciate trucks coming through here, I'll be honest. I am gonna turn my beacons on because I don't want any vehicles coming around these corners fast. If they see my beacons, they might slow down quicker. There we go. And like I said, I, th I think this is the best way in. I think the other way is even tighter with cars parked on the side. Um, when I was looking at the map earlier, a lot of these houses have drives, whereas over there they didn't. No one is saying thank you to me. I don't think they like trucks coming through here. Thank you. Oh, he said thanks. So, ideally we want to go straight over, but we can't, there's a no entry, uh, there's a one way, we come out that way. So we have to turn left here, and then we turn right at the road. Yeah, it's not too bad, it's easy enough. I got a funny feeling last time I went straight through the narrow bit, I think, because I don't remember it being this easy. <laughs> this is easy, no problem. Turn right. And then on the way back out, we go that way there. I think I think I can faintly see some tyre marks on the ground. Yeah. So on the way back out, we come down here, through there, back out the way we come in. Oh no, we got a road close sign. Road ahead closed. We're literally only going up the road like 500 yards, so let's hope it's after this. We're literally, it's literally the next right we are taking, so... Da -da 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 -da. Should be alright. Should be alright. Yeah, we're looking good, we're looking good. I think it's the tree line we're going up to. Uh, take a right-hand turn. Lovely jubbly! We've got another single track here, and then we should have be um, at the farm. Nothing coming out. Manor Farm. Lovely. Uh, yeah, there's a car coming down, but he flashed me. So I'm going to continue. Yeah, go around. So I've been here once before. And I remember going around last time. 
Because we are off-road, baby. See about off. I imagine you can park up here for the night. Kind of tempted. Kind of tempted, rather than driving in rush hour traffic. Oh, we'll see. We will see. I'll see how long it takes to get to Whiz Beach. Hello, right, mate. Yeah, not too bad. Right, we are being tipped. Most of this side is off now. I think they've just got one more lift to do over there, look. And then uh, we've got to try and spin around so they can do the other side, which is a little bit concerning because all the weight's on one side of the trailer. Um, I haven't asked yet if I can stay here for the night. I'm hoping I can. There's internet, so that's a good sign. <laughs> um, wouldn't want to stay here if there's no internet. Um, yeah, I imagine it's going to be very, very quiet here if I do happen to stay. Might even go for a nice, nice little walk that I'm in. Okay, we are allowed to stay for the night, so that's good. Um, there's no reversing, we just need to go backwards and then drive forward, turn right into there, and then they're going to do the other side. And then, well, then we might need to do some reversing to park up for the night, but we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we've just sort of parked like that for now. Um, uh, I could always reverse straight back out if I have to, which I think I will. Probably just reverse straight down to there and then I can just turn right. I think he said park somewhere down here on the left, so probably just park straight here. Look, that'd be good, very good. Right, so I have decided. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna park up and have a think. I definitely ain't gonna drive straight off because it's quarter five and we're the whiz beach road is just horrible single track most of the way and it'd just be really busy so um yeah i ain't if i do go then i ain't going just yet i'll probably sit here for an hour but also on the flip side <laughs> like i said it's only 45 minutes away with no traffic so i could quite easily just stay here for the night and then leave earlier in the morning which is something I'm totally happy to do I normally try and get within an hour of places I'm delivering to anyway or collecting from so 45 minutes is bang on the mark but let's just go back and let's we park up and we will re-evaluate now I said you want me to park on the left he said anywhere down here so I don't think he's too bothered whereabouts but I think we'll stick tight to the left because because I'm on the grass a bit I'm uh, slightly elevated on the left side I don't really want to sleep on a uh, on an incline or a decline so we are going to move over to the right a bit more oh I don't know what to do <laughs> I might I might go I don't know I don't know what to do. It's nice and quiet here. I don't need any food or drink. I don't even want anything to eat. I got drink, plenty of water for when I go for a walk or anything. It'd be nice and quiet. I got internet access. It's good. But I think it'd be more like an hour drive. That one has died, that GoPro. I think it'd be more like an hour drive to get there because I got to go because the road closure to the right the sat nav was taking me to the right first I got to go round a long slightly longer way so it's going to take an hour to get there I don't even know what time I can load from so let's say half five start I think I'll get there a lot quicker and um, what time is it now five so it's well over 12 hours off so I am I'm inclined to just park up where I am I think rather than driving through the traffic because it'd be it'd be really busy I won't get parked up until gone six okay I changed my mind <laughs> we moved like it was a great place to park where we just was um sun was out nice and quiet it don't get me wrong it'd be amazing but it's it was an hour away. It would have meant I had to get up an hour early. I'd lose an hour's drive for tomorrow. Just it just parking here it leaves me ten minutes away from where I need to be in the morning. I can wake up later. I didn't really want to stop driving anyway. 
didn't even really want to stop driving anyway. Like it was too early in the day. It was still light out. And it, for me anyway, when it's light out, I can just drive forever and ever and ever. If it was dark and rainy, probably a different story. Probably would have parked up for the evening. But um, no, I've decided to carry on. Now we're just around the corner. The time now is uh, just after 6 p.m. Six minutes past six is the current time. And yeah, we're still gonna get 12 hours off. So it's not gonna affect anything in terms of time off. Um, it just means I've got an extra hour to play with tomorrow because I haven't got to do an hour's driving first thing in the morning, that's all. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video. Thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said earlier, I think I said earlier, it's quite different because we started off in London, like two deliveries in urban areas, and then we've done farm collections and delivery, which is like just countryside, completely different. Um, went from being a, a concrete urban area, area to like a, a greenland grass area. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, I, I might might try and might try and integrate that into a thumbnail somewhere. That might be a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I really do. Uh, don't forget to give this video a like, a comment, a cheeky subscribe. It would mean a lot to me if you do give me a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. I'm currently nearly on 76,000, so it's the road to 100k. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please, please, please do. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out a lot. I want to get a YouTube plaque. That's like the ultimate aim. And then the question is, do I put it in here or do I put it in my office? But we'll get to that at a later date. A later date sorry. Anyway, that's it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Drive safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.